moment of truth for the both of us. I, apocalypse could be the end. Alright, so I'm priming my face. I'm using Scandinavia Makeup Primer Spray. I'm doing an X two times on my face and a T two times on my face. Um, I really like it so far. It's pretty cool. It's new. It's different for me to use a primer spray like that. But while I let that settle into my skin, I'm going to go ahead and do my brows. And lastly, there will be a description or there will be a code in the description link for you guys to use for a discount on the primer spray as well as the finishing spray that I'll be using near the end of the tutorial. Yes, I figured that so. Pack up your clothes, give me my keys back, and you can have your phone. Your love has turned my heart into a haunted house. Me is for Vendetta, and I'm taking love out. You think you are a monster? You don't know what Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyelids. Today I'm going to be using a ColourPop pigment. I don't remember the name. It's not actually on the back of the eyeshadow. I think it's on the box which I threw away, but check this out. This is so whack. It, I just opened it. But the cool thing I will say while this whackness happens on screen is that it was sent to me for free by ColourPop because one of my shipments came kind of late. So anyway, I put it back together because the color is too fabulous to throw away. So this is what I have now. And I'm using my Real Techniques brush. I'll put the name of the brush. This is a new brush to me, guys. I freaking love it. It is so soft. I mean, and it is so soft on my eyelid, and it felt so good. I probably used it a little longer than I needed to. It just feels great. You know what? I should probably add, just for the rest of my eyeshadow on the top lid, I am going to use the brush for all of the colors. Um, and the reason being is my first time using it, so I kind of wanted to get a feel of it. And I like it a lot. It does everything I need for it to do. Um, so I was pretty happy about that, and I thought I might as well throw that out there for any of you who might be looking into that brush. And then on my lower lash line, I am going to use another Real Techniques brush. You guys saw, I did a review on the brush set, but it's their smudger brush, which I really, really, really like, and I think it really allows me to smudge a lot better than before, because I think my eyeshadow game looks a little bit better, too. <laughs> Did you really do this thought? I told you Play with my heart, I'm playing with your head I'm crazy, that's what the other one said It's the moment of truth in the light zone you guys saw in my last video I talked about some of the prestige cosmetic products that were sent to me this being one of them I really 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 love it um, and then also this isn't new but my Clinique gel liner guys hands down it's my favorite gel liner ever um, I think it was like 16 or 17 bucks but it lasts forever and it's just it just doesn't dry I've like had it forever it doesn't dry it's the only gel liner that I own, well it isn't the only one that I own, it's the only one that I'm using, so I, I really do need to do a favorites video, I have about five products that are my all time favorites that I'll definitely come back and share with you guys sometime soon. Because Baby Girl does not have long lashes, I am going to apply some Ardell Dummy Wispies. I feel like my son was born with the lashes that I buy and wear all the time, he has such long lashes. I got lash envy of a 21 month old. And I'm just showing you here, I'm not feeling the lash glue that I use. It's some duo lash glue because it just shows white even when it dries. So I'm going back and applying black eyeliner. I just feel like this step is so redundant. Not black eyeliner, black, um, yeah, black eyeliner. I'm tripping. That's the one that I use, the white one. Don't get it. I'm smiling because I know I'm about to get full coverage for $5.99. You unleash the dragon, so plan your retreat. It's a full moon out, so tonight you're gonna witness return of Jafar, return of the beast. I book the trip to Paris, a summer retreat. Will you too? Because I'm not taking you with me. You set up for the good instead of waiting. Pretty good coverage, guys. I like it a lot. I'm just gonna kind of show you what my face looks like now after I apply the foundation. It's pretty great. Now I'm gonna go ahead and contour my face. Normally I would set it right now, but I'm just gonna go ahead and contour my face using the Cover XX Cream Contour Kit in Dark. I do not like this kit. Um, there are so many things I like about it, but there's just not enough depth in the contour color, and then this is the darkest palette that they have. What in the world are Cocoa Goddesses with even deeper complexions supposed to freaking use? Certainly not Cover FX. Anyway, I'm using the cream highlight, which I really like. I love the texture and the consistency of this stuff. Oh, highlight, this is a dope brush, guys. Um, it's another Real Techniques brush that I'm trying out. What I think is pretty cool about it is that it has three sides to it, so I'm going to use it to highlight and contour. Anyway, going back to my Cover FX rant, you can see the color here. It's nice, but I would have to leave it packed on. When it comes time to blend, it's just not giving me the depth that I'm looking for. So um, I am still, I still favor the Anastasia Cream Contour. And so now I'm going in with that Sephora brush. That's another favorite item of mine is the brush, I think the number 70, just to kind of uh, blend out the contour and whatnot. But I'm going to go back again um, and use uh, a powder 
I think um, it was film noir blush. Anyway, you'll see in a second to just add additional contouring to my face. It was not the film noir blush. I'm using Embark eyeshadow to contour. onto something with this combo but I didn't quite like it so I just kind of ended up blending the lip color over and then that was the end result and I'm just adding a little bit more contour in my nose using the Embark eyeshadow all right guys so I'm gonna go ahead and seal the deal using my makeup finishing sprays doing my X's and my T's and let that settle in and your look is done you love my lip combo are you feeling ColourPop? Then you're going to want to see my next video, which is a swatch review on my new ColourPop shades. ColourPop got me feeling myself, guys. Who am I? Mm, 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 ColourPop. As always, guys, thank you for watching. Stay blessed. Bye.